Hello everybody, my name is Naya and I'm the Black Female Engineer and today I will be walking you through my Coding Bootcamp Survival Guide, i.e. the six tips I have for you to really get through Coding Bootcamp smoothly. So let's get into it. Number one, the first tip I have for you to really get through Coding Bootcamp smoothly is to learn HTML and CSS and really, really, really practice it. For me, I don't know about other boot camps or you know all that, but in my boot camp, we barely really touched on CSS, and that's honestly kind of because CSS is very hard to teach you can be a seasoned professional in you know the ui design and all that and you think you are changing the background color to something and then really you're you changed just a portion of the page and all that and it's really really complex more than people can think initially to be completely honest and so the more time you can get comfortable learning css the more stylish and professional your portfolio projects will be while going through the bootcamp process because again it's likely that your bootcamp actually won't go in depth with it and so now you have all these tools you know to build a web app but now the web app doesn't look good like it functions and it works but it doesn't look great i know for me i would spend about half the time in my in building web apps half that time would be spent designing it because css takes so long and it's because of that constant trial and error you think you're grabbing something but it's not actually being grabbed or you think you're removing something and now you've deleted the whole styling for everything so it's really really important to try to get as comfortable with css as you can and really put in that time and so me i learned mostly through free code camp and code academy and those i think were great building blocks for me for css because right after i got those fundamentals i then went more on my own and started just building static websites again and again and trying to style it and getting more in the rhythm and so please 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 if you have extra time between classes or weekends or anything like that take time building those static sites. Build those again and again and again. Seriously, you may not think it's important, but trust me, it will make the difference between what looks professional and what looks half done. My second tip for you all is to find at least two allies within your bootcamp. I went into coding bootcamp thinking that it was going to be like a bloodbath like everyone is like the hunger games everyone is just you fend for yourself and you don't admit you know any type of struggle or anything no it's not like that my class and i were extremely close and we wanted nothing but the best for each other because just because you you know succeed doesn't mean i don't you know what i mean and so you want the people around you to succeed because then that only one encourages you more to succeed but now you have people that you can you know go to for advice and tips and practice and all that to help you succeed as well and so find at least two at least two allies within your coding bootcamp program that way if you let's say miss a lesson or you are rusty on a subject and you just can't wrap your mind around certain topics someone who maybe is not the teacher could assist you in a way that maybe the teacher couldn't either because the teacher is busy you know instructing everybody else or you know with their own you know job but now you have a peer that you trust and can rely on to really just help you get through this process. And the reason I say at least two peers is because really just, you know, in case one, you know, has fallen or one, you know, is unavailable and things like that because coding boot camp, y'all, it goes by so, so quickly. And I don't say it goes by so, so quickly as in, oh, time flies. Like, no, I mean, like, it's so intense. Like, you sneeze and you've missed a topic. You know what I mean? And so you really, really want to make sure you're staying on top of it. And so in case one is unavailable, you have another. But also, you know, I'm not saying I'd be be in one-sided relationships. Like, make sure that you are being a good ally and resource to other people as well. Number 
three. Tip number three to really get through coding boot camp successfully and with as much ease as possible is to take your rest days seriously. This I know is a tip that I know some people are gonna be like, okay, like we want actual tips. Like, no, this is an actual tip because you are going to get burned out in no time at all if you just keep on going. If you don't take, you know, a day or two, you know, whether it be a weekend or take your evenings off or anything like that, you are going to get burned so, so quickly and so hard because sure for seven days it was fine and now you're ahead and everything but by day eight you're learning a new topic and your brain can't even stay alert anymore can't even be on for that much now and now you're you're the one who has fallen behind because you didn't take those necessary rest days to allow your brain to rest because y'all while you're resting that's when your brain can really process everything that has been done during the day everything you've learned everything you've practiced that's when that happens and so by cutting that off now your brain is just never given that time and space to really reflect on everything you've done and now you're on you know day eight of a new topic and it's like it's just constant new information being fed to it and it's 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 gonna give up like <laughs> it's gonna be like like y'all like i'm done i'm i can't do this anymore so no seriously 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 please take your rest day seriously and i would say take about three days within into your coding bootcamp three days to a week to see what the days are like what um the schedule looks like in terms of either lessons or when you personally have more time versus less time and all of this to really then establish after that first week okay when are the best times for me to take those breaks i had peers in the program that they had a rule of they don't work evenings they just don't work evenings so make those rules because other people will respect them. so before tip number four please click that subscribe button and hit like if you like if you like what you've heard so far or by the end of the video if you like what you heard if you took anything away from this please hit the like button and let me know what your favorite tip was okay back to it so tip number four y'all build and burns now what's a build and burn so you are in this program you are going to learn let's say javascript ruby you know node all the works when you're learning these things you're going to build certain either features or actual apps or anything like that with these languages with these frameworks when you're learning these new languages and frameworks build so create that feature create that app and then burn it to the ground. Burn that sucker down and do it again and again and again. Build it and burn it. And when I say burn it, I mean delete that you know file and do it all over again. Because the thing is, you'll think you have things down like you'll be like oh wow like look at me go i'm you know doing da 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 and then you're just over here you know with your keyboard and building this you know good ish and then if someone's like okay cool delete it build it again it'll be like oh bet and then it's crickets it's like oh my god <laughs> what's, the, what's the first step what's this like how do i you will realize where your gaps in knowledge are and you'll be able to really pay attention in those and really make sure that you are honing those things down like crazy. The only way you can do that is truly by building it, then burning it down. And this is too, it's such a tiring thing to do because it's like, God, damn like i have to do keep doing this like i just spent the last three hours building this and i think i have it down like i'm not gonna build it and burn it like no screw that y'all seriously you learn so so much quicker by building and burning it seems like you're taking more time because you know you spent three hours for the first one then you have to build it down and burn it down and then you did it again and so you see these hours go by like six hours go by and you're like ah 
like I'm taking so long. No, you would have taken even longer if you hadn't done that because you would have done it the one time, then you would have been asked by a teacher or student to do it and you couldn't have been able to do it. Or now it's on the exam and you forget certain steps and now it's been three days and you missed all these different things and that could have all been avoided if you had spent those three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours building and burning. So y'all, build and then burn that sucker down. So tip number five goes very closely with tip number four. You want to code along. Do not just watch this teacher, you know, do everything and, you know, don't be just like, oh, okay, cool, like that. Like, or even, or even, let's say you are a note taker and everything. Don't be out here taking notes of the programming that your teacher or your fellow peer is doing. Build it with them. Pull up your laptop and make sure you have, you know, VS Code or any other IDE environment or anything and be coding along like literally if they put you know if x is less than y like be literally typing those things in even if you don't understand it because there's going to come a time where now you've understood it a little bit more but you're missing something and so now you can go back to exactly what the teacher had had done while they were teaching you this lesson and you can see oh okay they did x they did y they did this seriously document everything code along my coding boot camp they recorded every lesson and they made it clear that they were screen recording and all that and it would be the lesson would be available to us anywhere from that night to like up to two days later but that was more like more rare occasions it was almost immediate that those lessons would be available to us. But let's say that your, you know, bootcamp doesn't do that or anything. Ask the teacher if it's okay for you to record, to screen record the lesson. And the reason I say screen record is because we are in a panoramic and I am pretty sure no one is going through coding bootcamp right now in person. That's why I say screen record. And so your lessons would be you know through skype or through all that mine were through skype not through skype mine were through zoom so no ask your teacher hey can i record this lesson on my laptop so that i can come back to it later and everything it's important to ask because i believe there are some you know rules or regulations around especially with institutions like recording their lessons or if you see if there are other people's faces in the screen you know recording them and things like that but i i'm pretty sure it's okay if you're not going to distribute it um but no just like ask ask and just say i really want to make sure i can access this later can i record this you want to be able to access those documents those resources those lessons everything that is part of the boot camp you want to be able to go back to even if you think you may not need it later you want to store that somewhere seriously it's so useful store it somewhere if if the boot camp itself doesn't store them on their own and finally tip number six to get through your coding boot camp with the biggest ease in the possible because you know it's not easy but tip number six is focus on things you are interested in don't be focusing on things that you think is going to look good on a resume is going to look good you know to your friends or look whatever make sure you are interested in it if it looks good that's good I'm not saying don't make things look good but don't do things solely for the you know clout you know whether that be professional or personal like make sure is because you are interested in it when you're building your portfolio projects and you know stacking up that resume it's going to be so much easier to build and teach yourself something when it's centered around something that you find funny you find you know interesting like one lesson was based around it was based around under like predicting let's say the color 
or the hairstyle Beyonce was going to, you know, be wearing for a show kind of thing. Like that's so like, you know, random. And <laughs> if it gets you to learn what an if statement is, then hell, like heck yeah, like then make sure you're really focusing on things that are interesting to you because that's what's going to make the difference between how good your your um, portfolio ends up being, how good your app ends up being because now that you're interested in it, you will pour your blood, sweat, and tears into it because it's something that's so personal to you not just some generic thing. My program started with 14 people. Y'all, the amount of people that were there by the end of the program, guess, guess, seven. In four months, half the class was gone, was gone. Be and so you really, really need to do just grab at any single thing that will make this process easier and make it more durable and fun and you know just exciting being able to tie it with things that interest you so no please press that subscribe button so that YouTube can show my videos to more people and we can just grow this community but thank you so much for watching this and I will see you very soon because the next time I'll be back I'll be talking about the things you need to do before even starting your bootcamp to really make sure you can really start running just from day one and succeed and get that job, you know, for 2021 and everything. So no, thank you so much, everybody. And I will see you later.